Hi everyone! So last week I had a week off because I was on holiday in New York but that means that this week it's two for the price of one with two books. Book number six is Indigo Donut by Patrice Lawrence and book seven is A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. Um, these might be strange choices um, to put together for some of you because Indigo Donut is very much a young adult's book and A Little Life is very much an adult's book but I think actually through the review analysis and discussion I'll hopefully be able to draw out some similarities in terms of content and themes that are quite interesting. Now the reason that I chose to read Indigo Donut, Indigo Donut is my sixth book, is because I read an article in The Guardian which was all about the best young adults books of 2017 and that was recommended by that. And obviously doing my Masters in Children's Literature I think it's really really important to keep up to date with young people's literature. And A Little Life was recommended to me by my friend Charlotte, who is actually on the course with me. And she said she really, really enjoyed the book. So that's where that book came from. And that's book number seven. What I'm going to start off with is just a brief overview of the plot of both texts. I'm not going to give you all the details, there won't be any spoilers in this section of the video. But I'm just going to give you kind of a flavour of what each one's about. So Indigo Donut is about a young woman called Indigo who has been put into foster care and when she starts at school, at a new school, she comes into contact with a boy called Bailey and their lives cross and it's through this very positive relationship she has with Bailey that she sees um, another way of living her life and of being happy. Um, as for A Little Life, um, I think it's ironic that the title is A Little Life because this is a beast of a book. It's 730 pages long and this book follows the lives of four young men, well they begin young, who meet in university and it follows their lives as they grow up throughout their friendship and sort of ends in their uh, 50s and it's based in New York and it follows them as they move through college into the early stages of their career and their homes in New York and as their careers progress. So I'm going to start off by talking about what I liked about each book and then drawing a similarity across the two texts. So I'm going to start off with Indigo Donut. I think this novel is really, really important. Being a secondary school teacher, I think it's really important that young people get to read about people from different family circumstances than their own. And talking about young people in foster care I think is really, really vital if young people are to have um, empathy for people in those situations. I think that um, Lawrence has really captured a sense of youth culture in London. Um, there was a, a real reality to the situation, you know, the young people going to the chicken shop at lunchtime and doing tequila shots on the bus and playing drinking games. And I thought that that was a really um, realistic portrayal of what life is like for teenagers in London. Equally, in A Little Life, um, I can't say that all of the plot was realistic, but I think the fact that she decides to portray um, people's lives who are very, very difficult is really, really important. And without giving too much away, Jude, who is the main character, suffers a great deal with um, a very, very difficult childhood. Um, again, somebody who is placed into foster care and continues to struggle with mental health problems in their later life. Now what I really enjoyed about both books and both authors writing is the way that they wrote about the struggles that these characters had with dealing with the issues from earlier on in their lives and they both took a very sort of metaphorical approach 
in their writing. So an indigo donut, uh, indigo talks about there being a monster inside her which she can feel um, erupting whenever she gets distressed or angry. And I, I loved this idea. And again, as a teacher, it really brought home to me the way that some young people feel when they are angry or distressed. And um, it really opened my eyes to what their experiences might be. And equally in A Little Life, Jude talks about, again, a very similar experience, this kind of uh, demon or monster clawing to get out of him. And he also talks about sort of hyenas um, encircling him and chasing him. And it was a really, really um, lively way to describe um, problems with um, mental well-being. And I think that it very much brought those issues alive for a reader and made you much more um, sympathetic with that character. Now without giving too much away about my ratings of the books, because I'll do that in the, the final section of the vlog, um, I actually want to talk a little bit more about A Little Life um, because I, I did find this um, a deeply important novel for me. Um, and it's something that will definitely sort of stick with me. Um, and I think that is because what the, uh, what, what the author's captured here is kind of an epic, sprawling narrative um, over these people's lives. And she writes in such great detail about their lives and, and across their lives. It's not just the length of her writing, although obviously that has a, you know, um, that that plays a part in the way that you feel about them because you feel so involved with them. But never have I felt before so much care and affection for these characters. And there were points in the novel that I felt disturbed, disgusted, I laughed out loud, I was tearful. It really took me on quite um, a journey and I felt that I really knew the characters and I really cared about them and when things happened to them I felt upset for them and for me that is um, a great accomplishment for an author to make you feel so involved, to feel so completely lost in those characters. And so that is something that I really, really loved about that novel. What I'm going to move on to now is just elements of the novels that I didn't enjoy. And the similarity in terms of what it was that I didn't like about the novels were elements of them that I didn't find particularly um, realistic. So in Indigo Donut, uh, both Indigo and Bailey, who are the two main characters, are avid music fans. And their music tastes um, range from Blondie um, through to Muse, but there were constant references to music and they often felt quite artificial. They didn't feel as though they were kind of naturally part of the narrative. They were just sort of um, constantly sort of placed there and it didn't feel that it was necessary for the narrative to have all of these kind of references to these various bands. It, 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 it felt at times like showing off and I didn't think that that was necessary. And similarly in A Little Life there was an element that I found particularly unrealistic. The four main characters, all of whom, whom uh, meet at university, out of four of them, three of them seem to come from regular um, working class backgrounds and one of them has clearly had an incredibly difficult upbringing um, to say the least and yet these four men go on to be not just successful in their respective fields but the best and most successful and famous in their fields and I just find that element of the novel rather unrealistic. It doesn't recognise really that actually privilege often allows for that kind of success and it also doesn't necessarily 
show the setbacks that you would have um, in terms of your career and your success as a result of those things happening in your life. So that was something that I found troublesome in that in that novel. So to summarise, um, I enjoyed both of these books. I found them both um, interesting and compelling reads. I would give Indigo Donut a four stars out of five um, and I would give A Little Life 4.9 stars out of five. I would definitely place A Little Life in my favourite books of all time and it's certainly my favourite um, novel of the moment and it's something that I would recommend to everyone to read. Next week I will be looking at a book called Stay With Me by Aobami Adebayo. So tune in next week to have a, uh, a listen about this one.